your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano with a look at your headlines. The state releasing the latest COVID-19 data. Statewide positivity rate rising to 1.84% Thursday. More than 1,500 new cases were reported along with 23 deaths from the virus. More than 67.5% of all state residents are fully vaccinated. Springfield police responding to a deadly two-car accident on Verge Street Thursday evening. Happened right before 5 p.m. Witnesses telling Western Mass News they heard the crash and saw smoke. Residents on the street say speeding is an issue. However, the cause of that accident is still unknown. Police say one of the drivers was killed in that crash. A protest outside Springfield City Hall against the proposed Eversource gas pipeline. The Springfield Climate Justice Coalition also holding a news conference to express their opposition. They say the planned $40 million project creating a gas pipeline from a metering station in Longmeadow to Springfield isn't healthy and isn't needed. Time first warning, meteorologist Don Maher, another cold night coming our way tonight as temperatures fall into the 20s, but an extended dry stretch coming our way that will take us right on through the upcoming weekend as our storm tracks stay well to our south. So we're not expecting to see any precipitation around here as we head through the next several days. The weekend is looking dry, but it is looking a bit on the cool side, at least during the first half. We may moderate temperatures a bit by the time we get on into Sunday, but overnight tonight, mid 20s to around 30 skies will clear. Winds light out of the north. That means we will cool off very quickly once again overnight tonight. And tomorrow we rebound to back near 50 degrees with a lot of sunshine. Mostly sunny on Saturday, upper 40s and lower 50s. And then back to the mid 50s on Sunday with a few more clouds around. But then as we head towards the beginning of the new work week, some milder air moving in. In fact, we could see temperatures near or into the lower 60s Monday, Tuesday, and perhaps even into Wednesday. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.